building this actually drove me insane. Welcome back to Speed Build Saturday. I'm your host, Fake Gamer Girl, and the way that I said that made this sound way more professional than it actually is. Today, I decided to be a little bit whimsical and make a wizard's tower. This doesn't use any CC, any mods, or anything like that. I don't I don't know why I said that because I never really use custom content when I'm building, even though I kind of want to, but it feels like cheating. But then it's like, well, it's my own game and I'm just making things look pretty, so is it cheating if there's no winning? Can you win the Sims? Could you ever beat the Sims? Will you ever say that you've played enough Sims that you are content, that you've done everything? So many questions and so little time. So I will be addressing none of them. <laughs> this build tested my patience like no other build that I have ever built before. Conceptually, a wizard's tower is a very simple thing. It is just a long, tall building with some little room sticking out of it. But for some reason, my brain just couldn't wrap my head around anything that I was doing and this was the textbook definition of trust the process. It actually ends up looking good at the end. I, at least I think so, but oh my god, I was losing my mind. I had finally put the build together. I was done. I took my screenshots and all that stuff and I sent it over to my friends just so I could show them. And my friend was like, hey, so why didn't you use curved walls? What was the, the idea behind that? And I was like, well, the idea was I actually fucking forgot I could make circular rooms, which is why this tower is not a cylinder. It's not circular and it's angular because I just forgot we have that tool. So that was completely on me. I was just having like a really really bad brain day that day. So it just was not coming together. I was actually falling apart, but you know, you gotta clock into that nine to five. What else can you do? But this was everything. This was terrain tools. This was weird diagonals. This was circular roofs, which by the way, the roof on this is not in the middle. No matter what I did, it drove me insane. I just don't understand. The roofs with more than four points, four sides, whatever. You get my point. It's more than four. For some reason, it just wasn't even, and I had already done the entire tower, and I was like, I'm not adjusting this. This is already really annoying. I just, there's a, I, oh, ugh, how do I say this? <laughs> I always felt like that the Sims 4's build tools are revolutionary. They're the best building tools in any game that I have ever played in my life, and I think it's gonna be really tough to try and beat that. However, when I build something like this somehow, miraculously, the build tools start to feel extraordinarily primitive to me. Maybe it's a skill issue. Maybe I'm the problem, but when am I ever gonna admit that? Not today. Or as Aragorn said, today is not this day, that day. What was the quote? I don't actually care anymore. This build hurt me personally. This build also had an identity crisis just like halfway through me doing the exterior, which you'll probably notice. Initially, I wanted to go for a very dark and dreary tower. Like it was gonna be really cozy on the inside, but I wanted it to be very, um, I don't actually know the words for it. You know, I didn't want it to be so fairy tale. I mean, kind of fairy tale, but more on the like dark fairy tale side. I wanted it to be a dark tower, okay? I wanted it to look, to look a little bit spooky because the goth kit came out, but uh, it turns out halfway through it, I was like, I don't want to do that anymore and I want to make it colorful. So then I did that and that took a lot of time as well. I just, I was having a day of doubts, okay? And I, those days are normal. If you're having a bad brain day, just know I had a particularly bad brain day and I'm still around and I'm still kicking. So if that's the sort of motivation that you need, there you go. I'm going to drink some water now and you probably should too. <sighs> I was having a bad day and then I went and took my dog for a walk and then I was like, wow, suddenly, somehow, fresh air and exercise made me feel better. It turns out people don't actually lie to you when they say that. It's not so annoying though. Like as somebody who suffers with severe anxiety and depression and a plethora of other things, my brain really thought that mental illnesses were Pokemon and decided to fucking collect them all. It used to really annoy me when I was feeling really, really bad and I wanted to get some support and all I was getting was like, oh, just drink more water water, get some sleep, go outside, exercise. And you're like, that that's not helping. I feel as if my problems are a little bit too severe for those things. And you know what? You do need external help and you do need sometimes to go above and beyond that. But I will never ever anymore understate how actually helpful it is to actually go outside and get a little bit of exercise if you can and drink water and eat well, because those actually do somehow, they do factor in. It's not a band-aid. It's not a one-stop fix all obviously, but they, it really does help. I know that sounds crazy. And this is coming from somebody whose mental illness was so bad at some point that I was like bedridden for months. Like I've been to the bottom of the barrel, but drinking water and not eating like super duper unhealthy food actually was like a really good foundation for getting better. I make this joke a lot, but I'm actually dead serious that pizza gives me panic attacks. I don't know. I think it's the amount of like grease or something. I don't know what it is, but then I start having panic attacks. 
And I'm like, why am I panicking? And it's like, oh, I ate pizza that wasn't homemade. It's weird. Brain chemistry is very odd. Obviously, if you're not feeling okay and you really do need help, please go and talk to somebody that you love and trust and get external help. I'm not saying that if you drink water, all your problems will go away because God, even I know that's not true. But if you're having a bad day, going outside is not a bad idea. Am I really telling Sims players to touch grass? Is that really what I'm doing now? If I can do it, you can do it. Also, we're in the inside of the tower now. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about the build. I'm a professional now. I know exactly what I'm doing. We're actually gonna work down the tower. So we're starting at the very top and going all the way to the bottom. Now you might have realized while I was building this that there isn't actually a front door into this tower. So you're probably like, huh, how do, how do I actually get in? Let's say I live here. I buy this spicy piece of real estate. How do I actually fucking go inside? You will find that out later. I don't know why you're surprised that I wasn't going to tell you outright the thing that you wanted to know. Like I said, I am a professional. Now, when I thought of building this wizard's tower, I came in with a completely different idea than what I came out with. And I think that's just part of the creative process and also part of me emotionally giving up. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to make a wizard's tower. I think because I was thinking about Gale of Waterdeep and I was like, yeah, he'd probably live in a really cozy, cool tower. I want to build one. And then uh, I went from thinking about a very powerful wizard to uh, a wizard princess. Maybe it was like a mix of like a Rapunzel's tower and a, I don't know, like a wizard. I, I don't actually know, but the inside is giving princess. That's it. Maybe it's the limited decor or maybe just I, I'm in, uh, insane. Maybe, I don't know. I think the bedroom is one of my favorite rooms in this entire build. This room and the last room that you're gonna see, which is how you actually get inside, but I'm not gonna spoil it. And yeah, okay, go ahead, skip forward and find out, but you're gonna feel really dirty about it. Go ahead, cheat the video. See if I care. I guess you'll just miss out on the build competition announcement in the middle or what are you gonna skip to that too um, well, actually... thanks babe it sometimes he just comes into my room to bully me i don't even remember what i was talking about anymore that just like really sidelined me i'm kind of having this problem with the sims 4 recently which i think is a little bit of a me problem don't take this as criticism for the game although i'm sure a lot of you would absolutely love to jump on that but this is this is a me problem i always feel like there are way too many items in the sims 4 at the moment when you buy all of the packs again this is a problem that i created for myself but they, i don't have the items that i want you know what i mean i feel like there's a lot of stuff but not a lot of stuff you know what i mean also we've moved on to the kitchen dining room area now this is probably my least favorite floor in this entire build i'm pretty sure there's something that a really skilled builder would be able to do to make this look a little better i really like the kitchen area the dining room area not so much it's just a very hard floor plan for me to work with and again i was having a very bad brain day and i'm just gonna keep using that as an excuse because what i can use that for anything hey why did you run over my grandma sorry sorry i just <laughs> my brain's not really working today <laughs> anyway did you know that every single week on this channel we have a build competition where i give you guys a prompt you guys build it upload it to the gallery and then i review those builds in a video using the hashtag that shows up on the screen right now i want you guys to build me the most violent build you can in the sims 4. i'm talking about something out of an action movie a horror movie maybe a build that is perfect for neighborhood brawl day whatever it is make it bloody and crazy and within ea's terms of service obviously the deadline to submit your builds is going to be saturday february 3rd so get your builds in by then and please double check the spelling of the hashtag because if you don't spell it right i'm not going to see it and if i don't see it i'm not going to reveal it and, and then the death threats will come at you you know the drill unless this is your first video of mine then i would like to sincerely apologize that this is how you found me it's probably going to get worse to be honest i have a gripe and i have something i want to complain about and it, it's kind of weird but i think it's completely valid so for christmas i bought me and my partner matching snorlax onesies i thought you know matching onesies would be really cute but i didn't want to just do christmas onesies because then it would just be weird to wear after christmas so i wanted it to be something we can use year round because also it's fucking cold like really cold lately i don't know what's up with that anyway it's not like we're in winter anyway and i really like the onesie it keeps me very very warm it keeps your whole body warm it's cute it's got like a little snorlax hoodie on it doesn't have a tail unfortunately i think it would be so cute if it did but i digress but there's one problem with onesies that i don't like and that's when you go to use 
the bathroom. I think, I, I feel like it'd be gross if it had a butt flap, but I think it would also be incredibly useful if it did have a butt flap because something about taking the whole onesie off when you need to pee or even worse, do a poop, especially when it's cold, which is usually the only type of weather where you'd wear a onesie in. You just sat there on the toilet shivering. It's honestly an awful experience. And then like, it's just like on the floor. And obviously my bathroom floors are clean because this is me we're talking about, but it's just something went wrong and I don't like it. But also I wouldn't want a butt flap because that's just so close to the source material. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't want to sit on the fabric while I, you know what? I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into more detail about it. Also, we're working on the bathroom now, which I think is actually <laughs> really fitting for this topic. I actually ended up really liking the bathroom, but only one side of the bathroom. There's like this whole brick wall on the left side of the bathroom that I, I wish I had done better. I don't know how to decorate on those walls. When it comes to wooden walls, I know what to do, which is why the wooden side of the bathroom is my favorite. Anyway, we'll just, I'm gonna, you know, you know, I feel like there has to be a better solution. Maybe trousers and a top. Maybe onesies aren't the solution, but they're so cozy. Do you think like you'd have to change into pooping clothes? Like you change out of it real quick and then you change back into the onesie when you're done. That just feels really counterintuitive. It's just a bad time. You know what I kind of should do and really want to do, but I don't know if it's something you guys would watch. So let me know in the comments if this is something you'd want to see, but I would kind of want to do a bathroom boot camp. Not IRL. I'm not going to post a video of me pooping or something like that. That's weird. But I mean like making bathrooms in The Sims because I'm constantly complaining about how much I hate doing it and how difficult it is and blah, 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 blah. But like I'm not practicing am I? I mean, I make builds with bathrooms in them, but they're kind of like an afterthought. So I kind of want to do a video of me making as many bathrooms as I can and trying to make them look nice so that hopefully by the end of it, I know how to make bathrooms. It's kind of like a character study or something like that, or like an art study where if you're really shit at drawing hands, then that's all you draw until you hate yourself or until you uh, I can actually draw hands. So I kind of want to do something like that because I feel like that is my weakest point. Bathrooms and kitchens. I but I hate, I hate kitchens. This is the problem. This is why I never improve because the thing that I need to improve on, I don't like doing it, which is why I'm not good at it. But then I have to do it to get better at it. And it's just like, it's a whole thing. It's, I don't wanna, but I'm, I'm probably gonna. I don't, I don't know. I'll just listen to whatever you guys tell me to do. You guys are totally the moral high ground. You guys obviously know what's best for me. It, you guys are totally, can be trusted with all of my life decisions, actually. Actually, now I know why my boyfriend makes that noise at me because apparently I do that a lot. Apparently. <coughs> oh my God. It's not even allergy season and I'm just, I'm just permanently nerfed. We're not there yet, but in the next couple of seconds, we are going to be at my favorite room in this entire build. I know I said the bedroom was my favorite room, but this is actually my favorite room. And this is the cauldron room. I love any sort of witchy office vibe. There's a massive cauldron in the middle and this is where potions get made. This is where all sorts of magic stuff happens. And there's just something about the greenery, all the potions, and clutter everywhere. That just makes me feel so cozy. Obviously this has more of a castle vibe because it isn't completely wooden, but I just, I wish that, you know, you could have an actual job as a witch, as a magical witch, where you have a giant bubbling cauldron and you can make potions that turn people into frogs. And I bet you could have like a pretty good Etsy store where it's like, yeah, this is actually a potion that turns people into frogs and I'm just gonna mass produce it. That's fine. It could be trusted with anybody. It would just be pretty bad as someone brewing it because I feel like if there was any sort of mistake, not that like you actually put too much newt's eye or ogre toe that, you know, it might be like a really bad brew and like kill people. More like if you made a really good batch and you accidentally spilled some on yourself, you'll just be like, ah, fuck, I, I'm a frog now. This is going to complicate things. And then you have to also know the potion to reverse that potion. And then you'd have to make the entire potion in a giant cauldron as a frog. And I I am not a frog. I don't know any frogs, but I, I don't think that it would be very easy for them to do so. Unless I feel like if you were a smart witch, a smart bitch, you should probably have the antidote on hand before you make the actual product. So instead of being a frog and having to make the whole thing, you just have like a tiny frog sized potion bottle that you can just drink from as a frog. And then you can reverse the effects and everything is fine. I feel like you have to plan ahead. 
<laughs> and this is why I would be a very bad wizard. I will say though, with The Sims 4 Realm of Magic, I really, really enjoyed the alchemy system. It's one of my favorite things that I just, I don't know, something about being able to make potions with stuff that you grow yourself and also like crystals that you find across the world by yourself. I don't know, it just, it gave me the witch fantasies I've always wanted. I know that like potions are a real thing, but I, as far as I know, they can't turn people into frogs, unfortunately. And that's kind of the magic that I, I, I strive for that I kind of want to aim for, but I, I don't think that's possible. Unless it is, it would be cool. And I feel like people always say like, oh, being turned into a frog would be awful. I would love to be a frog. Like frogs just chill all the time. That's not a punishment, that's a gift. Anyway, we're down to the final room in this house. I mean tower, and you're probably wondering this entire time, um, how did we get in here? Uh, through a portal, duh. You're a wizard, a mighty wizard. You get in through your portal that only you know how to access, and then you can invite your friends through the portal, and it would be really cool. Or alternatively, you could open one of the top windows and just fly in with your broom, but I don't recommend that because birds would probably find a way to make a nest in your bedroom, unless that's your kind of thing because you're technically a Disney princess wizard, then you should probably go ahead with that. This room is just so pretty. At the very end, when the montage happens, I do change all of the lights in this entire build, and oh my god, this room is the prettiest one. But anyway, we're basically at the end of the build now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed, and by the way, good luck on the build competition to all of those of you that submit. I never wish you guys good luck, and I probably should be doing that, which is why I did that. Be sure to check the description down below for all of my socials, and always remember that.